Today we're gonna to be talking about how to wire a solar panel array for an RV system. Here we're looking at the back of a solar panel module and what we're looking for is the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. So at open circuit voltage, that's the maximum voltage this panel should put out. So if you measured at these two points with a multimeter, you should read 27.3 is what this panel has. That's what you should be getting there. Maximum amount of output should never exceed 9.5 amps. These are numbers that we need to keep in mind when we're configuring our solar array in a configuration to make sure that when we're doing series or parallel connections, that our voltage does not exceed the rated voltage of the charge controller we're using, and the amperage does not exceed the amperage allowable by the wire size that you chose to run from the roof down to where your charge controller is located. The parallel wiring configuration essentially just means that you're putting all of the positive connections together and all of the negative connections together and running those down with your wiring. When you wire in parallel, all the positives together, all the negatives together, your voltage of your panels stays exactly the same as what's noted on the sticker on the back. So your voltage stays the same, but your amperage now doubles because you have two panels in parallel. If you put three panels in parallel, now you have triple the amount of amperage that's listed on the sticker, but the voltage remains the same. There are some very simple products on the market to help you accomplish these tasks. Um, parallel configurations are very easy. You have uh, pieces like this that you can take and it accepts two female connections from two different panels and gives you one female out connection. So you can put two panels in parallel with one piece of equipment. You have the double male with a single female output and you have a double female with a single male output. And then your output wires down to your controller would connect to the single port on each one of those. If you have more panels that you wanna put all in parallel, you have uh, triple connectors. They have four-way, five-way connectors. It really depends on how many panels and what your configuration is gonna be at the end. Thank <laughs> you.